Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some amazing free 3D mockups which have come up recently and they look astounding. At the end of the video, I am also going to show you a nice little way to create animated 3D mockups on your own. So custom 3D mockups are now also possible for free without using or downloading any software. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. All right, so this is probably one of the coolest softwares which have recently popped up. It's called Morflax. And Morflax basically allows you to create amazing presentations with 3D mockups. Now they have their own kind of online web builder where you can build these amazing mockups, create perspectives, cre uh, pick up already existing mockups and edit them as well. And this looks extremely good. You can see how they've presented it here. Now, as you can see, they have a nice little dashboard with already existing mockups ready here. They, of course, have a nice little tutorial when you begin, but you can obviously skip this or just move on from this. Now, as you can see, much like any other 3D design tool, you have this, you know, rotation and movement here. If you click anywhere outside the phone, you can rotate it on a 3D axis and then adjust the 3D axis rotation as well. You can even give this phone any color you like. So I like the red iPhone a lot, so why not? You can even add really cool elements, things like hands, equipment, so things like MacBooks, keyboards, etc. Some of these might be under a paid subscription, but some of these will be free as well. I really like their hands, definitely, I think one of the best hands out there. You can even add or edit shadows, so you can add depth to it, you can increase or decrease blur. As you can see, this phone now has a shadow on a plane at the bottom, so it gives you that more of a 3D look here. I, I also love how you can add gradients to the background here, and you can adjust the gradient like this. Looks so cool. I would have given this a much better gradient, to be honest. This is so much better. Not only that, it also has lighting, yes. And how about colorful lighting? Imagine having a studio set up and there be colorful lighting. So this gives you a choice to, you know, give you a blue lighting or a green lighting and you can switch between all these cool lighting. See how yellow affects the phone? Uh, if I change it to something like green, see how there's green reflections? Then there's blue, then there's red. So you can choose between all these cool uh, colors and directional light if you want. The next tool popped up on Product Hunt and I was pretty impressed. It's called the All Hands Mockup. So super high quality mockups where hands are holding phones and devices like that. And it's not a library per se. If you are on Figma, you can just go to Command P or Control P and search for All Hands. And it's actually a plugin that you can generate from inside your Figma. Now it loads it up here. This is uh, basically these are slides that I had created. Now, of course, it won't fit into these phones, but still, just for example, I'm going to show it to you. So I can select any frame. I have this 14 one right here. I can select 14, pick one of these, and it adds your screens to these mockups right here. Now, once this is done loading, as you can see, it's tried to adjust it because it was a landscape uh, 16 by 9 right there so it doesn't fit properly but you can and see how high quality this is even if i zoom in it's really not pixelating i feel this is one of the most high quality ones out there that generates inside figma great job guys now when it comes to 3d assets or libraries ui8 is one of the best it has one of the most premium high quality mockups out there so just look at this if you thought those hands were high quality, this is even one level higher. It has Photoshop, Figma, as well as Sketch files, so you can use it anywhere. And I love the gradients and the lighting they've used. It's fantastic. Also, I know there is a $6 price tag, so if you want to get it, you can get it. Otherwise, they have a demo file as well. So if you want to try it out, it, they'll give you two hands for free. So you can use those two hands in your personal projects if you'd like. Now, this next one stole my heart. It's called Simple Mockups 2.0. And just look at how fantastic this mock-up library here is. You can change colors, you can add all these cool floating elements that I absolutely love. And they also have 15 plus scene, scene objects. Just look at these jelly objects or these glass objects. So if you're working on a glass morphism project, this will be perfect for that as well. And not only that, they, they also have animated mock-ups. So possibly if you have a product demo or you want to create a UI design animation, this will be best because they have pre-made animations ready for you. And none of these are specific devices. And I love that about it. It's just 
random devices which could be any device it could be apple it could be android and it just fits in everywhere they have a 48 dollar price tag which i think for such a huge library with scenes with backgrounds as well as animations is pretty cheap but if you want a demo they do have a demo file as well where you'll get some of these mockups for free for personal use so you can go ahead and grab it i suggest going to ui8 and just checking these out all right so the next one is for a device that recently popped up people are loving the ipad mini everyone has good things to say about it now ls graphics has come up with a free mockup 100 free mockup for photoshop sketch and figma so that you can try it out on your own and you can actually use this and see how the scenes work so you can add two screens here one in the background one in the front and of course this ipad is laying down looks fantastic LS Graphics has supported the channel in the past and I suggest going check going and checking out all their other free mockups. They have high quality both animated and non-animated mockups that you can try for various devices and it's wonderful this library. If you want to use LS Graphic mockups inside your Figma, they recently launched something called Mockup, which is a really cool plugin that you can get for Figma. And you can add your screens onto these crazy looking mockups. I personally have used it many times and I can highly recommend this. Now, somebody from Russia, I assume this is Russian, created CGI hands. Yes, CGI hands animated as well as unanimated, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, these hands have motion blur. They move around perfectly and they also appear and go perfectly. They also have things like the middle finger actually popping up, which is kind of crazy, but I can't show it here on YouTube. And of course they have phones and other devices, hands just throwing the phone like this, doing tricks. I think this is one of the most detailed hand models, most fun hand models out there. This is endless. It keeps on going different colors, different scenes, different lighting, and there's more to it. There, there are coins, there are different coins, dollars, cents, things like that. And they're royalty free, so you can just grab them and use it even in your commercial projects. Just check out the requirements for uh, uh, attribution and things like that. Now imagine having a dribble, but just for mockups. So Unblast is a website like that. Unblast collects mockups from all over the internet and puts it onto one page into countless pages, just like you would see on Dribbble or Behance. And they keep on going and they also show you what file types this supports. So in this case, it's Photoshop. You can have other file types as well. Not only that, they have realistic 3D mockups. If you want in the future, you can even check this out. And they're, a fu they're full of different libraries, mockups, fonts, icons, templates, graphics, 3D models, as well as colors. Yep, they have their own color library as well. And of course, they have a seamless search. So if I want iPhone 12, if you're searching for any mockup, go to this platform, you'll find it. Or you just check out my videos. <laughs> Yes, I promise at the end, I will show you how I've managed to create custom 3D mockups on my own. So the first step is to go to something called spline.design. You can check out either from their library. So they have some mockups already existing in their library, like this nice little phone mockup, which you can animate around this Game Boy mockup, this Nintendo Switch mockup, and of course, as well, an iPhone mockup. Then go to a website like Sketchfab, where you can get 3D models and type in something like iPhone 12. And here you have it. You have various 3D models of the iPhone 12 or anything with varying and really cool lighting as you can see. And where you see this download symbol, you can just click on it and below it, you will find this download 3D model. Once th that is there, you can just download the FBX. That's the favorite format for spline. You can just download the FBF, go to where you downloaded it, extract all. So this is a zip file. Just extract the zip file to wherever you want it to extract. Go back to spline, create a new file or use any one of your old files. And inside here, you would want to go inside the folder and just drag the iPhone model into spline right here. And in a few seconds, as you can see, this 3D model is ready to use. Of course, it's looking weird because of this white plane. But as you can see, if I remove this white plane, here is your 3D model. And I think it looks amazing. You can create some amazing mockups with this. You can add a screen inside this. 
Of course, I've done a full tutorial on Spline before on how to use it to create 3D mockups. I suggest go check that out. I've created a 3D mockup as well as animated it. So I'll have a link to that video in the description. I suggest go check it out. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for videos like this every Monday and Thursday. Also, if you don't want to miss out on these videos, make sure you click on that bell icon. Otherwise, you'll never get notified on when I'm uploading. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.